I think it's helpful to think of yourself as a character, right? Like that where, where I, I learned about this years ago from Dan Kennedy. It was one of his, like probably, um, probably the thing that I took to heart the most from what he taught. So Dan Kennedy, for those of you who don't know, is a old, super old kind of direct response marketer. He's still alive. I think he lives in Arizona as far, or maybe he lives in Ohio, I forget. Um, and uh, he was, um, actually, he had a business partner named Bill Glazer. I was with his daughter last night at a meetup. So it was kind of fun to meet to meet um, her and like kind of inside of that family. Kennedy, Glazer Kennedy Inner Circle was the name of the company back then. I joined in 2010, went to some events. Anyway. So one of the things that Dan Kennedy talked about is is how making yourself into a character that is based on you and is is true, but is kind of an exaggeration of yourself is you know a little bit more like you play into certain things that that's really helpful and like saying this I'm like we need to do that more honestly. Um, and I, I actually have a document. I, did I share that with you? Called with Calvin, Calvin the character. I haven't shared that with you. All right, I'll share that with you. Where is like going through this exercise? Because like, so it's like, what are your superhero powers? What are your what are your pet peeves? What are your your you know, hard to believe um, uh, um, accomplishments? What are your weaknesses and shortcomings? Right? What are your key parables that you keep sharing that you teach people you know talk talk about that that are teaching stories etc and like one of his insights was that people love to to follow the adventures of a character right series fiction where you have you know jack ryan for example like is a character a fictional character or sherlock holmes fictional character or um, what are some of those like the like long running like there's like 20 30 uh, books in a series with the same character because people love to follow that shit right even every TV show like you know like people just love following like what what are they what are they gonna do next and so there's something extremely powerful in using that in your marketing of like what the fuck is this guy gonna do next if he can keep people on the edge a little bit and kind of tune into that story that can be extremely powerful. Um, and I think just showing up a, a little bit exaggerated in that way where like, yeah, what you put out in public is not exactly who you are. It's, it's, you know, yeah, it's an exaggeration of who you are for the purposes of engaging people so that they can actually listen to you and hear, hear you and take it to heart and then, um, you know, buy from you and implement something in their lives. There's a big thing that happened a couple of weeks ago with with a guy that calls himself the the Liver King. Um, do you know what his real name, real name is? I have no idea either. He calls himself the Liver King. You can Google this. There is a so he he uh, has this supplement line where he like it's like organ stuff. So liver and I forget like other organs is like that you can buy in pill form. And he's like, yeah, and I eat this liver, raw liver, and like raw egg yolks and whatnot. And then, like, he's this, if you look at his photos, he's like, like, fucking strong, like, like nobody's business. And then a couple of weeks ago, it came out that he's doing steroids, right? He's doing hormone treatments and has been doing that for a few years. But yeah, he did a, he did a good job in this larger than life character. And I'm not saying you have to do it in the way that he is, but, but there is a, point in playing a role playing a character just don't go lie about it but you can definitely exaggerate certain parts yeah so how do you do that with the authenticity because i feel like a lot of people mm -hmm. in our world feel like authentic authenticity means you can't expand that character yeah well i mean we're always like you're a different self with your with your intimate partner than you are with your employees than you are with your mom and dad, than you are with like your kids, than you are with your best friend, right? We're always playing a role to some extent. There is no quote unquote authentic self in that sense. Like, but we, we just play appropriate for the situation. So I think of it in exactly the same way. What is the appropriate, like if you're on stage, 
there is a different behavior that's appropriate. There's a bit different way of speaking. Like I wouldn't speak this way if we sat down and had dinner. Like that would be super awkward. That would be super weird. But here it is appropriate to communicate in a, in a different way because of the situation. Um, so it's all authentic. Uh, it's just what's, what's helpful in the situation. Yeah. Yeah, damn, that would be weird if I talked to like this to my wife or like, uh, like, like imagine that like or coming to my parents at dinner and like <laughs> talking like that all night. It would be so Give weird. Seven ways that, I <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy.